What is up, YouTube? It's Rovin for Rovin Javier and Race. Before we start episode two of the teardown for Phoenix International Raceway, I want to show my support to the LGBTQ plus community. YouTube's stance on restricting LGBTQ videos, people who support, YouTubers who support the LGBTQ plus community is really discouraging for me. So every teardown episode that we do for who knows how long, there's no timetable, we're going to unmonetize those and every video, even the food reviews, the food reviews will not be unmonetized. You will see this intro every video from now on. I just want to show my support to anyone who who's going through tough times, especially in our in our current in our current climate in our world right now that it's not looking too good and YouTube in my opinion is taking a step back instead of taking a step forward and looking at the whole entire picture. I really wish YouTube came up with a better statement. I have read the statement off their Twitter account and it's really more like an excuse. But overall Everybody, all my friends, anyone who's LGBTQ plus community, I support you. You have my back. You have someone to talk to, and I will always be there for you. And I'm thinking we're going to do something special. Let's do something special. We're going to do something special this year. I promise you that. And you guys, remember, and girls, females, males, any gender, any sexuality, you have my support. Thanks. Welcome to Teardown Episode 2, Race 436, Phoenix International Raceway. Congrats to Ryan Newman. Wow. Breaks that 122 race winless streak. I believe that is correct for Ryan Newman. Richard Childress hasn't even won a race since Kevin Harvick won a long time ago. But Luke Lambert, crew chief of Ryan Newman, decides what a with a caution due to Joey Logano tire blowing out and Kyle Busch was the leader. And oh my gosh, Luke Lambert takes no tires, leaves Ryan Newman out and defends Kyle Larson for the win. Wow, he is initially in the chase, in the playoffs, whatever. But this is insane because Usually what happens if you don't take tires, you usually get beat by the people who took tires. But what my opinion is, I thought Kyle Busch was going to take it. He had the lead going in with four laps to go, then bam, Joey Logano. Wow, karma is a you-know-what. Can you say it's karma? I think it's karma. But let's go run down the top 10, the final top 10 for the final stage. We had Ryan Newman as the winner, Kyle Larson in second, Kyle Busch in third, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in fourth. Wow, we got Kiselowski, then we got Harvick, then we got Daniel Suarez, we have Eric Jones, we have Jimmy Johnson, and Denny Hamlin rounding out the top 10 in the final stage. They get all the points. We, I want to also congratulate Joey Logano, Stage 1 winner, and Chase Elliott for Stage 2 winner. Insane racing. The, the, day was domin the first day was, stage was dominant by Joey Logano, the pole sitter. And then as soon as pit stops rounded out after Stage 1, Chase Elliott dominated the second stage. But after the second stage, caution, pit stops, Kyle Busch takes the lead in pit road with a faster pit stop. Then Chase Elliott and basically dominates the entire race except with four laps to go. Joey Logano blows a tire heading into the double dog leg. So that is some crazy events. A lot of people were kind of mumbling, wow, is that karma for 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 <laughs> Kyle Busch? I think so. I think that's what you get for playing the media rudely, in my opinion. Um... A lot of people label Kyle Busch as a crybaby, Joey Logano. People say he's a wuss because he doesn't stand up for himself. But if you look back on the footage for Atlanta, I mean Las Vegas, Joey Logano was gonna fight Kyle Busch, but one of his one of his one of his crew members gladly pulled him back. So, 
Overall, the racing was pretty good. Side by side racing. My my picks were were Joey Joey Logano, Dale Jr., Jimmy Johnson, AJ Allmendinger, and Michael McDowell. That was my DraftKings fantasy. None of them did good in my opinion. I thought Joey Logano was gonna have a good day. I thought Jimmy Johnson was gonna have a solid day, and he did have a solid day. But consistency, he wasn't really there. Michael McDowell. There was a huge battle between Dinger, AJ Allmendinger. And himself, Michael McDowell, who was really good. I thought we are going to see some punches thrown this week as well. So overall, we had a really good race. I particularly I particularly, particularly thought it was going to be a, a really single file stage street. It, it turned out to be that way almost the whole way. And that caution really helped, helped the racing. Which is why I want to propose to NASCAR, bring the caution clock. Instead of instead of putting a caution out after each stage, I would put a caution clock. I think that would be a better idea. Use the camping use the camping world data information and apply that to the Monster Energy Cup series. That would be amazing. Again, rundown is basically Ryan Newman is Ryan Newman is in the chase. We have Brad Keselowski. Ryan Newman, Brad Keselowski, Martin Truex Jr., and I believe that, I think, Ke wait, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to cut that out. We have Kurt Busch, Ryan Newman, Martin Truex Jr., and Brad Keselowski. So those are the four guys who are completely in. Everybody else is on points. I will definitely update those points later on in the description down below. I will definitely put the points in there. Um, supposedly, we might have a guest coming in on our show. We we might have Robbie Lyons, a K&N series driver. Those are, for any of you NASCAR home track fans, you might recognize him. We I hope we can get an interview with him. Other than that... That's basically the rundown. I think NASCAR can be. I hope NASCAR make cha makes changes to their to the race format. I don't particularly like it, and I just realized how the points are run down for for the rest of the season. Overall, congrats to Ryan Newman. I ho hope you guys enjoyed today's teardown episode two. I believe, and. If anything else does not happen, if Robbie Lyons, Robbie Lyons can't come on, I'll definitely end the video here. Uh, again, congrats to Ryan Newman, congrats to Joey Agano, congrats to Chase Elliott winning on those three stages. That's much appreciated. But again, Luke Lambert comes in with a call with no tires, leaves Ryan Newman out, and with the win, with two laps to go with a green white checkered win. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of the Teardown, Dueling It in the Desert in PIR, Phoenix International Raceway. We'll tune in for the next race in the Teardown, Episode 3. It's Roven from Roven's Review and Race. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and have a wonderful, wonderful, awesome Ryan Newman, Chevrolet SS, Richard Childress Racing Day. Y'all take it easy. Love and peace.